Hey everyone, it's Neil Barnhill with the Barnhill Golf Institute helping you find your winning way. Today we're out at beautiful Sanctuary Ridge and we're going to talk about how to hit out of a fairway bunker shot. For most amateurs, this is a place they do not want to be and a lot of times it's the mechanics and the technique that you're using to do so. So I want to go over some simple guidelines of how to effectively get out of the trap and give you a game plan to make it easy where you can hit it solid and advance the ball and not leave it in the trap or top it. So let's go over that. I've got a seven iron. So generally speaking, you know, I'm, it, there's all kind of variables that take place when you're on a golf course. It's how high is the lip? How low is the lip? Is the wind in my face? Generally speaking, the way I like to play the shot, I, I like to stay very quiet and not move my head much and my legs stay very still. So I'll usually hit one more club. So if it's a six iron, shot I'll probably hit a five iron and you know like today I got a seven iron that would normally be an eight iron shot for me so depends on the circumstance but I never want to feel like I got to hit it hard I want to be in control and again the most important thing is to be very quiet with the swing let me go over that I got some balls here so first of all I like to play it like a seven I'll play it in the middle of my stance but I want to dig my feet in I want to get my legs probably bent a little bit more than normal I'm gonna take my normal grip. Again, I can't ground the club because I'm in a hazard. And I'm gonna stay very still. I don't want my head to move. I wanna just keep my head quiet. And basically, I'm, I'm not even trying to turn my core that much. I'm using more of an arm swing so I can be very quiet. I don't wanna be doing a lot of movement like this because it's gonna be hard to get back to the ball. And with that movement, when people do this movement like this, they'll tend to hit behind the ball, hit it fat, chunk it, or even top it. And the main goal here is to hit this ball solid. So let me take a shot at it here. I'm just basically gonna swing my arms. And that was very solid. You can see I didn't transfer all my weight over. You could do that, but again, I wanna start out with the basic. How can I hit this ball solid? Keep that front knee, that's another big thing, is that front knee when you come through it, keep it flexed when you hit. Don't let this straighten up, because that can change your spine angle. So again, we're just swinging the arms, keep that left knee flexed, right knee flexed, very grounded, 50-50 on the weight. And that's really good there. I mean, I went straight with a little draw. You can see my front leg stay bent. It's just a great way to hit. Also, it's a great training way if you have at your practice facility a place where you can train. I've had students in the past just take their shoes off, put their feet down in the ground, dig them in to work on staying very quiet with the legs. It's a great way to stay centered. So a lot of times amateurs, they get real leggy in the swing which changes your sp spine angle when you're hitting. So this can not only help you with your bunker shots but your real shots. So. Go out there and try these simple ideas. Love to hear from you. You can check me out on barnhillgolf.com for interesting videos and blogs on all kinds of different shots in golf.